Do you remember when we were all young and naive and believed that if somebody wrote about a hack on the internet, it must actually work? Those were the days. But I've been burned one too many times, so today I am testing five different internet hacks for removing scratches from wood furniture. Let's see how they do. So I got this cute little oak table from Goodwill for literally $2, and it was pretty scratched up initially, but not gonna lie, I added some more scratches just to make sure we had plenty to test on. So let's get cracking. And with that, maybe we'll start with the walnut. So trick one or hack one is to take a walnut and I guess break it so you get the walnutty part and then rub it on your scratch. This is doing something. Maybe it made it a little bit less obvious. Like there's certainly a difference between this and this, but it's not invisible. Maybe I'll give that three stars. Three stars for the walnut. Not a total fail, but not a perfect solution either. So there's walnut hack two, is using black tea. So I've got a rag here and I'm just gonna dip it in this black tea. I'm gonna stir the tea up a little bit first. It's been sitting in there a little while. We will try it on this scratch. Nothing's really happening. So T, zero, one half? I don't know, it, it didn't seem totally useless. Like maybe, maybe I should let it sit for a while. Maybe we'll come back to the T, see if the T does anything later. So T to be continued. Hack three are these coffee grounds. Eh, maybe I'll just use my finger to apply these. I'll try it to this nice, obvious one right in the middle. Okay, this is doing something. This is like the walnut, I feel like. It's doing something. Like it's a little bit darker. Like it's certainly staining the wood underneath, but the scratch is still visible for sure. Then I'm looking over at the tea, the tea is still dull. Okay. Coffee grounds aren't gonna solve all of your problems, but not totally worthless either. Maybe it can help make the scratch a little less obvious, like the walnut, make the scratch a little less obvious. So far, I think the walnut is my go-to or is the best so far. So walnut gets at, what did I say, three stars? So, so far the walnut is winning, the coffee I'd say two stars, the black tea got zero, that's where we are. All right, up next, is iodine, which maybe I should have opened it before I started this video. All right, and I'm just gonna get some iodine once again on my rag to apply to a scratch. Not bad, still better than the black tea. I'm trying to decide which worked better, the coffee grounds or the iodide, iodide, iodine. They're both, I don't know, I think they both had pretty much the same effect. There's not much difference between the two. So, I suppose use whichever one you got in the house. And then the last one is actually interesting. So this last one is a one-to-one -one mixture of vinegar and oil. So I just used canola oil and white vinegar. And the theory was if the vinegar sits on it a while, it'll stain the wood and the oil will make the wood expand to fill the crack. I don't know if I'd buy it, but we'll see. We'll try it. I think that's certainly less obvious already and it hasn't even sat for a while. Let's try it on another one. trying to decide, I'm putting my finger on it right now, trying to figure out, can I still feel it? Yeah, this might, this might take second place. I'm gonna do the walnut again, just to make sure it wasn't a fluke over here before I tell you which one of these methods actually worked the best. I think the walnut darkened while we were doing the other ones. I wonder if that has to do with the oil, maybe? Mm -hmm. 
Maybe not. <laughs> I, I, the, the walnut over here is now almost invisible color-wise, interestingly enough, um, which is why I keep wanting to pick up another piece of walnut and rub it on something else. Now I'm rubbing down the one I did tea. This isn't very good scientific process. Sorry, let me pick a different one. I forgot I did tea on that one. Yeah, that's, that's pretty effective, the walnut. And so I think is the uh, oil vinegar mixture. Like this scratch here, I can barely see it down here at this point. So after sitting for a few minutes and wiping it up, the oil vinegar mixture I actually think might be my favorite. Here were the two scratches that I tried it on and they're pretty well hidden now. Like they're not perfect. You can still see some things, but they're certainly much less obvious than they were before. So ranking here, oil and vinegar number one, walnut number two, uh, coffee grounds and iodine tied for number three. And then the black tea did basically nothing at number four. If you want to be able to find this video next time you need to repair some scratches on furniture, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.